Maker Max here. Can't see what you're 3D printing? Let's add some LEDs. Oh yeah, super easy and fast. Let's go. So what I did is I went on Amazon and I picked up some 24 volt LED lights. They come in a strip and let's cut them to length and we're gonna wire them into the power supply right here. I measure the height of this, where I want the LEDs to go inside of the track. And we're getting about 15 inches. And that's about 10. So 15 and 15 plus 10 is 40. So what we'll do is we're gonna measure out 40 inches of LEDs and then we'll cut it. So in the LED strip, you're gonna see areas right here and those are areas that you can cut. You can just cut it with a pair of scissors. All right, and there you go. And then you can just solder some wires to those. I already put a little solder on the end of these wires, so all you gotta do is put them here. Heat string. Now if you notice, the other end of this has two uh, contacts exposed. So just to keep anything from happening, I'm gonna put a little piece of heat shrink on that. This is gonna have to go in this groove. Um, I think the best way to do that is to slide it in by removing this top piece. Besides putting a little heat shrink on the end, I also put heat shrink at every joint because I was afraid that if it touches the aluminum it might short out. As this is just gonna get threaded all the way through here. Now when you get here, it gets a little weird. You're gonna have to pull this out of here and because uh, this end has to come over here. There you can see it's run through the track. And the hard part is trying to get it to go through the groove up there. Then it goes all along the top, down that side. Okay, here we are at the back of the machine. We're just gonna take out these three Allen keys. And unplug this. Now all we gotta do is hook our red wire here and our black wire here. I'm gonna take my wires and I'm gonna just bring them up from the bottom where the main power comes out of the box. And then just put the three screws back in. All right, let's see what happens. Plug it in, turn it on. Oh, that's really nice. Now you have a beautiful display of your 3D prints as they're happening.